Well, a lot of people have asked, can I replace all my teeth with dental implants? And yes, you can. And then the next question is, well, what's the process? So once you come in, we see if you need bone, 50% of implant cases need bone. And of those, 80% require sinus grafting. So generically, after the bone grafts, the implants are placed in rock solid bone. Different temporaries can be made. If you have teeth existing, a temporary can be made. One is type is looks like this, and it just snaps to your teeth. And like Invisalign braces, it just snaps over it and it looks pretty much just like teeth. Um, and that's a very nice option. It's very quick. It hovers over any bone grafting, which is really nice if you've had the bone graft and there's a 50-50 chance that, it, that you would. And it's quick, which is also very nice. And then if for longer term options, there's other types that are a little bit more sturdy um, and you can eat with them. <clears throat> then after the implants are placed, we start making the teeth. And the teeth sometimes can be initially just snapped in And we put little snaps on the implants and snaps on the inside of a denture. And the snaps retain your teeth. You snap right in and then it retains them. It provides support and stability against rocking. So it makes them, them very, very uh, good and some people like this so much, they just stop there. <clears throat> In an earlier video, in an earlier YouTube video, we mentioned about working your way up to something that's good, which is, this is very good. A lot of people just stop right here. Um, or something that's a little bit better and that is fixed and it's still in uh, a, a plastic um, and then one that is fixed and screw retained and it's m just like teeth. You can floss underneath of it, it stays in all the time and, um, and it's very, very nice. So if, if you decide to stop just at the snap that's great. Some people do that. And, and then, but there is a tad bit of movement when you chew, just a little bit. And if you're not really liking that, then a screw retained option or a fixed option, cement retained, is the solution. <clears throat> when we do that, we'll make something called wax rims. So just a piece of pink wax. And we get your midline. We get the dimension between your nose and your chin, and we get a line where your teeth will go horizontally across that is horizontal to your pupillary line so that it is symmetrical, balanced, and beautiful. Then we send that to the lab, and the lab will set six teeth. And with the six teeth, we see how the teeth fall on your lip line and they should be right on the wet, dry border of your lip line. Inside, we don't like teeth that are kind of tuck, tucked outside of the lip line. It look, those look a little bit like they're unhealthy, that they have periodontal disease, um, or you just have buck teeth. So we place them so that they're, they support your lower lip. When you part your lips, you just see your two front teeth, and that when you speak, you can, count to 10 with no lisping or no 
like a forcing of your tongue in a certain way. So then we'll try that in. If that looks great and the teeth are supporting your lip, if they're par par pu parallel with your pupillary line and they're right along the midline where you have balance and symmetry, perfect symmetry, then we'll go on and we'll set the rest of the teeth. And you'll try them in. And if you love them, we'll go to finish. Or if you want something changed just a little bit, like you want a little space between your two front teeth, like all your family or like you used to have, then we'll put that in. If you want, you know, not perfectly straight white teeth, you don't want them to look like dentures, you want them to be, have a little bit of character, we'll do that. <clears throat> something that makes you look like yourself. And then when you sign off, we send them off and they will mill. And there's a brand new milling process that is phenomenal. And the fit is to the micron just perfect. So it used to be we'd have to try them in and they didn't fit and there was a lot of back and forth. And now there's, it's so much better, so much better with the fit down to the micron. Um, but after that, we screw them in place. We'll, we'll screw a trial in place, usually one out of plastic. <clears throat> and you get to try that out and it's for as long as you want to. Um, and the thing about that one is that the cylinders, sometimes because it's just plastic, sometimes they loosen. And then, you know, when that happens, it's just time to go to the final, the final result made out of either zirconias, which are beautiful. They iridesce, they're luminescent, they're, they're fabulous and very strong. <clears throat> and then, or you could do a more traditional porcelain fuse to a noble metal. And they have, those porcelains are, are also very, very beautiful. Um, there's a little bit more flexure with that, not a lot, but just a little bit. So, you know, sometimes people like to have that opposing uh, zirconia. And those are all very beautiful options.